Hi, welcome to my channel. You are here. Uh, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Make sure that you like this video. And then also uh, drop me some comments and questions below. I didn't know what I thought about this product at first. Um, a friend had told me about it. And when she explained it to me, I was like, what in the hell are you talking about? Like, it just didn't make any sense to me. So I thought I was going to look into it and give it a shot. And then I fell in love with it. So I'll, first I'll tell you what it is. Uh, system, I guess. I hate to call it a system because it sounds like some sort of like description thing. It's a lash kit. It's a DIY extension at home eyelash extension kit. Um, the reason I started looking into this was because, first of all, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know my, you know my lash issues from a few years ago where I kept like singeing the middle pieces off, I guess, like with my, with my oven. I kept meal prepping and then the hot oven was like just in the middle. So um, I'm already blonde. I had that issue. I'm a little self-conscious about my eyelashes. Um, I did find a good lash serum that helps with the natural growth, and I do get that from my That helps, but the reason that I looked into this is I also struggle with false eyelashes. And I do so many photo shoots, and with competition stuff especially, I don't know what the deal is. I've tried so many different glues. Every time I wear fake eyelashes, my eyes will not stop watering. Um, and like I said, like I've tried hypo, hypo, hypoallergenic glues. I've tried like all the. But um, the other thing I don't like is I always have to trim them so much just to get them to fit my eyes. My eyes are very different. Um, I have one that's like squinty and like hooded, and this other one's I'd say pretty normal. Uh, so my. My eyes don't match, and they're very tiny. I have tiny eyeballs, and so just to get a strip of lashes to fit sex. Um, so the other option, or the alternative, which I've been like fighting for a few years while everybody else finds their perfect match, is salon lash extensions. I just haven't met a pair that I'm in love with for my face. I've seen some really beautiful ones on other girls and their faces, and then I've also seen some that I'm very happy that that girl likes her eyelashes, and that's how it should be. Um, but when I envision them on my face, it just doesn't fit. I don't know, like just the look I'm going for that accentuate my eyes, the fact that I'm in a gym three or four times a day, uh, that lifestyle, I kind of need them to look like questionably believable or just not over the top for me to like them. Um, on the other hand, it would be really cool to like wake up and be like, God, my eyelashes are on point before the rest of me is. Uh, so that <laughs> I can see, I can see the benefit of eyelash extensions. But um, like I said, like I haven't found a, an extension set that I like. Also, I'm going for less maintenance here. And from everything that I've heard, it's like quite an investment of your money and time to go get eyelash extensions. And I don't have that kind of time. I can't sit there for two hours every couple of weeks or whatever it takes to save me five minutes a day. Just, I can't do it. Um, but I looked into this and it is now my perfect solution. I don't, I don't think I will ever go back to wearing fake eyelashes, strips, or individuals for anything I can help, like photo shoots, competitions, events, whatever. Um, and then, you know, I don't have to for the commitment of like actual salon ones, salon extensions. So. Here's what's mind blowing. Here's the magic I'm going to share with you today that I had trouble processing at first, but now it makes so much sense. The way that these work is, I will, I will go through this whole box with you. The way that it works is you basically bond these lashes to the underside of your actual lashes up here. They don't go over the top. They go underneath. So I'm just going to go ahead and say this. If you have issues touching your own eyes and it freaks you out, this might not be for you. Sorry. Uh, but for, if that's not you, uh, this, you might, you might want to definitely try this. Um, 
I will say when I first looked into this Lashify thing, I was like, that is a lot of money. Uh, <laughs> and I did not know if it was going to be worth it. The good thing is they do have an option where if, you, if it's just not for you, even if you try it, it's easy to kind of like... I think there's like a restocking for your shelving fee, but you can, you can get your money back for most of it. Um, so that kind of guided me into trying it. And when I first tried it, it wasn't the process that was hard. It was that I wasn't maximizing what they had to offer. So there are some mistakes that I made that I'm happy to share with you because I like to learn from my mistakes. And I like what other people tell me there's mistakes to save me time. Um, and I'm going to try to keep this video as basic First off, like just, just trying this first uh, as much as I can, but I've also gotten a little more creative with them, and so I'll probably be making more... I can't get this open. <laughs> uh, there. I can't... Uh, I've done other things where I've gotten to kind of play around with it and get more creative with it, so I'll try to save that for another video with other like techniques and stuff. So, here we go. Um, first of all, this kit is called a control kit. There's like a whole set of vocabulary that you will learn today. Um, this control kit comes with, I would say, some essentials. You have, you have to have certain parts of this. So I'll just tell you what this is. It comes with this mirror. Um, I suggest also having another mirror on hand because this is good for on the go, but sometimes I need to get like way up close in there and this isn't magnified. Um, so these things, the, the, actual, lash, the actual lashes um, come in this like spider looking thing. This is called, I hope that shows, it might not, which might look weird. These are like, hang on, these are individual set clusters, clusters of lashes. And this thing, this has a name, this has a name, I forgot what it's called, but they're basically like fancy like claw-like tweezers that are like specially made for these things so that they don't damage these. And this it comes with these little, these little protective like sleeve things. They're silicone, I think, and they're they're called wandums. <laughs> um, so they protect your little monster tweezers. That's what these are called today. Uh, that's not the right thing. So this spider-looking thing has different sets of lashes that you pull out like a. I've done this before. I promise. Yeah. Why can't I get this? Oh my goodness, Autumn. You would. I just dropped it. Uh, <laughs> don't do what I'm doing. I promise it's easier than this. Okay, so this little thing comes with these little clusters of lashes. So you probably can't see that from that far away, but I'll get it up close soon. They, they confused me at first. But these are just like little sections of these lashes that you will get. What's cool is you get to pick which lashes you want to try. So there are different kinds of lashes within each gossamer. Gossamer is what this is called. A lash is called in this little thing. Um, so you get, to, you get to choose. Hang on, I'll show you. You get to choose which two kinds of each style that you want to try. So there's A, which is for Amplify. B, which is what I ordered at first. B is for bold. C is for curl. I haven't tried those yet. Um, so I just went with the bold because I felt like for what I wanted them for, which was my competition, uh, I wanted to try those first. And so that's what I started with my control kit. And it comes with two different lengths. So they'll have like a 10 millimeter up through like a 18 millimeter, which I didn't really know what that was going to look like, so I'm kind of glad that they give you two, because I will tell you that I use the 12 millimeters probably more than the 14. I just don't like the really long look on my face. Uh, but if you're a real drama with your, your uh, lashes, you might do the longer length. So I have used them, but probably more of the 12s, more of the shorter lengths of whatever styles I've tried. So it comes with these monster tweezer things with the wandums. Two sets, which this is a different one that I'm trying. Um, and then it comes with this very important piece. It comes with a bond, and the bond is like a glue. And there is clear on one side, black on the other side. 
I started out using clear because I knew I was going to get this all over my face. Uh, I thought it would be less obvious. Um, so this is called the Whisper Light Flexible Bond, which you will see in a minute how this works. And then it also comes with the um, Seal and Finish Clear Coat, which I've actually forgotten to use this before and it was okay, but I can tell a difference like this is this is what you use when you are done setting everything. So the bond is like, think of it just like a tacky, I'm going to map out where this goes, and then this thing kind of keeps them from, from, especially from sticking together, or from like little hairs and stuff sticking to the lashes. Um, so it's tacky, but it doesn't dry ridiculously fast, so you actually have some time to work here. Uh, so that's what comes with the kit, the control kit. What am I doing? Um, that's what's in this box. So, this is step one. I'm going to go ahead and tell you a mistake that I made. And I'm really glad that I, first of all, their customer service is awesome. They are on top of, even with a little chat thing on the website and emails, they are very responsive and very helpful. So, I've asked them a million questions. And at first, I was like, man, I wore these lashes for three days. I really liked the way they look, and they were... I took my time putting them on the first time, and I'm, I expected that. I expected not to be good at this. Um, so, yeah, it took a little bit longer for me to put them on the first time. And the first wear probably lasted, like, a day or two before they started falling off. And I was like, I don't know about this thing. I'm not going to spend my money and have them fall off two days later when I have to keep it reapplying. And I was this close to giving up on them and sending them back. But I was like, I'm going to reach out and see what the issue is. Because, for one thing... You cannot sleep on your face once you have these on. And I'm a face sleeper. Like, this is how I like to sleep. I like to, I like to mash my face between the pillows and my arms. Um, so I had to learn, which is probably better for my aging. I hear that's not good for your face anyway. So I had to learn to, like, sleep with my neck in a crevice between the pillows so I don't, like, sleep on my face. Um, so that was hard. And the obvious things, like really windy situations or... Like a, maybe maybe a lot of heat, you know, if you just like hot air blowing in your face, maybe don't do that. Uh, those can make them hard, like lessen the extent of the wear. But I was like, two days is pretty short, so I was like, I'm sure surely I'm doing something wrong. And I was, I did not, I did not pre cleanse my lashes properly. So before I gave up on that, on the whole idea, I was like, I'm gonna try this and see if it works. So I highly suggest getting this. It's a prep product. It's pre-cleanse water. I don't know what's in it. I don't know what's in this. It's magic in a bottle. So the first thing that you will do is clean your lashes with this. And then um, there are some other things. I'm going to go ahead and talk about them while we're talking about products here. Um, this helped the lashes stay on longest. Like now I can get a good five, sometimes seven days of wear with this. So that was my first mistake is I did not get this. And then I just tried to wipe, wash them clean myself. That didn't happen. Um, the other things that I'm glad that I tried that definitely help with the wear, depending on, like, what you're doing. So it comes with a Whisper Light Bond, which is, I would say, mildly tacky, which is good for beginner because, like, you want to make sure, what end is this? This is a clear end. You, I, would, I would definitely start with this. Still, this is still necessary. Um, however, I would say a luxury item in this is going to be, uh, not that, this, not that. Where's my, they all look the same. This, this night bond. This, the night bond, is an all the time bond for autumn. Uh, coincidentally, I ju just broke the tip off yesterday. Because <laughs> I break stuff, I have muscles. Um, so there is a there is an actual tip, but I'll show you how I use this anyway. I kind of use this side. So this stuff hugely makes a difference in how long these lashes last. So I would just go ahead and get this product. I would consider these two things like still in the mandatory category. The extra, the luxury things. There is so after you you got the seal and clear whatever finish that comes with the kit. But if you want to just go ahead and do yourself a favor, this glass crystal coat has made the, but it's like a waterproof coating, and so it's not completely necessary. I've washed my face just fine, and I, and I sweat a lot. So 
those things don't make my lashes fall off. But I've been doing a lot of photo shoots with water, like waterfalls and pools. And I tested this stuff for like two photo shoots in a row. When I use this, no lash comes off. And it almost like, it kind of makes them a little bit stiffer so that they feel, they feel like false eyelashes, like kind of that thicker density. Um, but it, I think this makes a difference if, if you were doing something with water. And if they're not photo shoots, but it's like a vacation and you're going to like lay on the beach, uh, this is probably your friend. The glass coat. So not necessary or mandatory. Luxury, yes. And then um, here's another mistake I made. When I first started using these, it says not to use an oil-based eye makeup remover, which makes perfect sense um, because that will destroy the bond, which is, if you want these lashes to come off, yes, that's exactly what you do. So I didn't find an issue with taking the lashes off. That was no problem. Just use an oil-free eye makeup remover. But don't use it if you want them to stay on your face. So. Oh, this, this was something that, let me adjust my legs. Uh, this is something that I did not know. Um, I was using an oil-free makeup remover. It was like Neutrogena. And they still kept popping off. And I saw I wrote their customer service. And I was like, hey, I'm doing what you guys said. Why am I still having this issue? And what I did not realize was that there were silicones in it. So it wasn't, no, it didn't have oil in it, but it did have silicones in it. And so that will also remove those eyelashes a little bit faster than probably what you want. So at that point I was like, I'm just going to go ahead and get their uh, Melt Away product, which is a remover. I will tell you why though. It wasn't to take the lashes off of my face necessarily, but these things, I don't remember how much these are off the top of my head. I want to say they're between like 20 and 25 bucks depending on which for, for one of these. So there's like probably six. There's a hair on that. Uh, there's probably like six on each side, so 12 total, um, which is a good amount. I rarely use more than three or four of these at a time, but um, I was reading where some people were reusing these, and no, they don't necessarily suggest it, but they don't encourage it either. So I was like, well, I'm going to see how long I can get use out of each cartridge of these gossamers that I can find, that I can make happen. So what I've been using the Melt Away for is to take the remaining bond off of the glue, off of these, so that I can use them more often. So that's why I got this. This is, again, a luxury item. Um, I will say it's a little bit more tedious, but another way to do that is to just get like these alcohol wipes and you can very carefully like wipe the glue off. It's a little more of annoying of a process. And you don't have to get these things if you're not going to try to reuse them. Some people just like reorder them and that's cool too. Um, but yeah, I would say the Melt Away, this, gosh, so much stuff. And the glass are like luxury extras, but the control kit, the prep product, this, and then the Night Bond, I would put in like the, you probably want to go ahead and get those kind of thing. So, here we go. I'm going to show you how to use this. Uh, okay. I'm not going to use these right now. I'm going to put this aside. So, the first thing that we are going to do is we're going to clean our lashes off. Prep product in my hands. I just take a little Q-tip like this. Um, I have a concealer. I have concealer on, but I don't have any other makeups on. So, I just kind of dip this in here. And this... Whatever is in here burns if you get it inside of your eye. Do not do that. So close your eye. And then I go over the top of my lashes first. And with my eyes still shut, I, I swipe upward to get this. Because remember, these are going to go, these are going to go on the underside. I am only very carefully, very, very carefully getting this underside. And I'll kind of like, wipe. This is just to get like all the oils off so that this bond really sticks to it. But also do not, do not get this in your eye. It's not that bad. I mean it stings for a minute but your eye's not going to catch fire or anything. Uh, okay. I think that's pretty good. So what's most important is you get this on the, the under side. Here's what else I will show you. I'm going to get a different Q 
Q-tip so that I don't hurt myself. Now I'm going to use these. I'm going to use these monster tweezer things. Okay, so you need to know, you need to understand that what the difference between like your under lash and your waterline, <laughs> this is a great demo, uh, <laughs> that the skin, that's your waterline. That's not where these go. I actually put these, uh, I don't have a measurement, a hair's worth away from the waterline, but still close to the base. The good thing is, if you get them a little bit further out from the base, nobody can tell. Um, so to help do that process, you all know how much I like my heated eyelash curler. Um, curl your lashes first, and then that way it gets them to go up and kind of out of the way. So I am going to, <laughs> this thing, I got off Amazon, and it, I love it. I love this thing. So, yeah, we're just going <laughs> to, I can't do this without, I can't talk and do this at the same time as well. Like 10 seconds. Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna curl this and get these out of the way. <laughs> I'd say like you know 10 seconds or just a metal one will work too. I'll post a link to this because it's awesome. Um, so we prepped and curled the lashes to get them out of the way. This is where this is where the nervousness happens. Okay, so there's a clear end and a black color here. Here's here's the black color. I'm going to start with the clear. I'll always start with the clear. And I think I read not to, somewhere it said not to do it all the way through to the tips, but I do, and I don't have any problems, so I'm going to keep doing that. So it's like a tiny mascara brush, and I'm going to like wiggle it at the base. I will say the first time I did this, I just started one third of my eye at a time, but now I'm probably just going to do the whole eye for efficiency to show y'all. Um, I'm going to start with this inner eyeball. <sighs> So, oops, that's a lot. <laughs> so, I am getting it really close to the waterline, but not quite the waterline. This is just how, I, how I've been doing mine, with success. So, not wrong if you do it another way. So, that's just a clear bond. What else I'm going to do, I'm going to take this night bond, and because I broke the tip off, because I'm autumn, uh, I'm actually going to take the brush piece. I need to just get a new one. I've already worn this out. Um, I'm going to take the brush piece of the black Whisper Light Bond and use that, but I'm only going to put this at the base. I'm not going to spread it all the way through. I just don't think it's necessary, but that way it also won't get all over the top. So I'm kind of just hitting the base here and wiggling. Maybe... <sighs> Did y'all just see that? That's why you don't use the black. <laughs> yeah. Yep, I'm autumn. Uh, <laughs> so get the base. Well, now this is all the way through the lashes. Okay, if this happens to you, before you put the, <laughs> which it probably will, just separate your lashes a little bit because it will glue them together. That looks normal. We'll get that later. So, um, yeah. The other thing that I do with this night bond, which I'll show you in a minute, so keep this handy, open. Um, I'm going to take... What I want to start with, I'm going to use a different set of gossamers. I will explain this in another video, but this is what I'm doing because I'm actually using this for a shoot tomorrow. Um, so I'm going to take a little set of these little dudes. These are, these are tins in length. So if you're looking for which ones to buy, these are the shorter ones. I always go shorter on the inner third or two thirds. And then I, on the outer third, I go a little bit longer. Um, that's just my preference for my weird eyes. So I like the shorter ones. I'm actually going to take what's remaining on the side of this, even though the tip is broken off. And I'm going to kind of just scoop some of this glue, I don't even know if you can see that, onto the base of the lash. So even though I've got it on my lashes, I feel like this helps them stay. So <laughs> watch carefully. I'll probably zoom in on the other eye so you guys can see. Uh, with my head tilted back and the tip, um, actually, let me just, I actually like to hold it this way. I feel like I have a little bit more control um, to go up. So we're just going to place the base above the waterline on the underside of the eye and flip it upward. So I'm going to place mine, hmm. 
This is good. I like a few of my real lashes to show. Tell me that was not awesome. Do you see how easy that was? And it just stuck. It's sticking so good. My actual eyelashes are sticking together. Oh, get out. That's not. Dang it. I got my eyelashes stuck. Well, okay, that's fine. Because that's what the last coat is going to be to make that not happen. So, that's just one section. I'm going to go all the way across with these sections to fill in these gaps. Where is my. God, I need to, they need to make these in different colors. Um, okay, okay, we got one on. Now we're going to go for another set. I might fast forward through this unless I think of something cool to say. Getting some glue on here. Get a little bit more glue. And then I'm just going to pop this guy right next to it. Isn't that nice? That nice and simple. And I'm just placing these right now. This isn't a... What's cool is if you mess up, it's really easy to fix. So I'll hold these more vertically. That just makes it easier for me to flip upward, and I'll show you in a second. Once you have placed these where you want them, hold on. Okay, now that that's where I want it to stay. First of all, if you ever get sticky that you don't want on these monster tweezers, take an apple, al apple, alcohol wipe and just get the glue off. Let it dry for a second, otherwise it'll take the glue off. Um, so once you've done that, once you're like, oh, I really like where that is, I'm ready to commit, just pinch it. So I flip these around away from my eye and then I pinch it horizontally. And this is called bonding. We're bonding right now. Uh, I don't know if holding it harder or longer makes any difference. I like to really, really squeeze it um, with my force. And I even squeeze through the tips. So those are pretty much where they're going to stay. Um, so I have two, I have two rows of these things on now. I want to say they're probably like a quarter of an inch width wide, wide. So you can accomplish the same thing if you were going to trim your regular fake eyelashes. But the benefit that you don't get with that is that they go on the underside. I'll tell you something else in a second. Um, yeah, these still, you can still adjust these to fit, uh, face, fit your eyes. Okay, I like where that one's at. If you don't like where one's at, you just take it off and do it again. Um, oh, this is so exciting. Now, I'm going to go one more row. I'm going to try to squeeze four on here. I have trimmed these before to be, actually, you know what? I'm going to show you. I don't love where this one's at, so I'm just going to pull it off. See how easy that was? Until you seal it for real, they're easy to pull off. I'm going to scoot it over just a little bit. I had a gap. I didn't love it. Okay, okay. That's where I want it. Just squeeze it um, with love. Okay, now I'm going to try to get one more out here. I will say I don't always go to the absolute edge of where my natural lashes are because I still feel like these show well and nobody can really tell but if you get them too far out sometimes that one little row will pop off like when you sleep so I don't always go to the actual edge of this so I am going to squeeze four of these shorter dudes onto one eyeball okay yeah I'm going to go four and then the other reason that's hard is if you don't have a lot of lashes, it doesn't really have anything to stick to. But this is just fine. Okay, okay. So I'm just squeezing this here. And just to be sure, now I'm going to flip them the, direct, the shape of my eye. And I'm going to just pinch all the way across. I, I really don't know if this makes a difference, but just in case, I'd rather do it than not. Um, just hold it and squeeze it. And you can, so <clears throat> you can sort of lift these up. Just to double check them. Look how cool that is already, you guys. I did that by myself. I'm so proud. And I'm a control freak, so it leaves me in control. And I can do things the way I like it. And I can fix it. If I don't like this in the next day, I can fix it. It's fine. Um, okay, I like this. I'm going to go with this for now. This is the basic um, 
version of what I want to show you in this video. Um, so now I'm going to take the seal and clear coat that comes with the control kit and all I'm going to do is go with the, first I'm going to go with the underside to keep this from sticking to my other lashes. But then I'm going to go over the top and close my eye and kind of go down. So you can see like these are, these are on here. I'm like, I'm not being gentle. I'm just not roughing it up. And I'm going to go over these bottom lashes because I definitely got glue on the bottom lashes. So now my eyelashes aren't sticking to each other. So that in itself will seal the process. However, I'm going to go ahead and use this glass because I just love it. Um, also like a little mascara wand. So once that has dried, now I'm going to go over. I always start with the top because I'm like, oh, if it's going to rain, this is where it'll hit first. But then I try to go completely under the bottom because my eyes water a lot. And sometimes I have allergies. So this just seals the, let's just make these like waterproof. So you can see the difference. And I did that probably, I'll probably do it a lot faster if I wasn't talking so much. Um, I think this is good. Uh, this is just, this is just one length to teach how this works. Um, so I just used all tins across here. In these, I'll list exactly which ones I used if you love this look. It's not the one that comes with the control kit. Um, but for the process, it's exactly the same. You get to choose which lashes you want to use. So I'll save, I'll try to save that for another one. I'm going to, I'm going to shut up and zoom in on this eye so that you can see better how I did this one. So the, the steps are basically you pre-cleanse, you, um, I curled them out of the way. And then you use the light bond, the whisper light bond. And then I put the, I put the night bond on there. That's what I like to do. And then I put each gossamer section on, pinched it, sealed it, and then I coated it with the glass. But now these will be on my face for like five, five days at least, sometimes seven. So I'll, I'll zoom in and show you the other eyeball. This is as close as we'll ever get. I can't, I can't think of any other reason why you would need to be this close to my face where you can see all of my lines and wrinkles. But this is <laughs> to see what's going on. I'm going to adjust my seat. Um, okay, okay. Uh, now that I'm done flirting with you in my weird autumn way. Um, then we're going to do this eye now. I have curled the lashes and already cleaned the lashes with that. But where am I starting? I'm going to start with a clear coat again because I will cover my face like the last one. So I'm going to go at the base all the way through. I just find it helpful. And right, yeah, so I'm doing all of my eye at once now because I've had to practice, but I was doing like just the inner, just the middle, and the outer before. And then I'm going to go ahead and what I'm going to do now, I'm going to get this night bond out. Night bond. And then, then I'm going to take, since I broke my tip off, I'm going to take this black uh, whisper light bond Crap. I got it mixed up. Night bond. Night bond. Um, I'm going <laughs> to bottle and party out anyway. And the base. Drop the base. Okay. Okay. Just. I say the base, but like midway. I'm not purposefully getting this on the ends, but that's pretty good right there. And then, then, I'm going to take my, hold on, let me not get these all mixed up, bottom, um, take your monster tweezers, I'm going to go ahead and wipe this, so yeah, sometimes there's glue on these things, which makes it hard to, <laughs> and then I'm going to take my, my gossamer, I don't know why I said it like that, I don't know, accent, uh, <laughs> and then I'm going to pinch, these. Wait. Okay, now I'm going to pinch these. And I'm going to go ahead and hold it more vertically, like just the, just the tip, vertically. <laughs> and then I'm going to use my, my night bond. I just feel like the night bond 
really holds it together. Like if you want to practice with these and try them for maybe a day or two first, you could probably stick with the Whisper Light. Some people can get three. I need, I need the heavy duty stuff. I also need to order more of this. Um, so on the other eye, no, I'll do it both for the same way. I start on the inner and go to the outer. I'm going to try. We'll see how this goes. No, I'm going to do the same. Never mind. Forget that. I'm not in an experimental mood. Uh, I actually use the outside of my iris to gauge where I want this to go, but that's what I like on my eyes. I like my natural short eyelashes to show. Some people go all the way to the edge. That's cool. That's not me. Uh, so when I look straight at the mirror, that's where I'm going to put the edge. Oh, be careful. Oh, this is terrifying. It's not that bad. Ha. Huh. I like where that one is. Once I know I like where one is, I just go ahead and pinch it sideways. But again, I have this turned around, facing away, not the curve of my eye, the opposite. Um, I just feel like that helps me control things better. Here's one. Here, here's one. Now I'm going to get another one. So just like the other eye, I'm going to fit four of these little dudes on there. Um, so I will tell you, these are not the bees. These are, these are actually brown. They have black ones and they have brown ones. These are the short brown ones. Uh, C tins, I think. I ran out of the other ones and I got so excited to make this for you that I didn't want to wait. Hold up. God, it's so hard to talk and do this at once. Okay, so I just placed that one right next to the other one. I'm going to pinch it. Pinch if you're ready to commit. Ah. Uh, okay. Okay. I feel so pretty. And it's so much cheaper. Uh... I guess I probably shouldn't say that. I don't want to. I don't want to take away from the professionals that actually know what they're doing. I just know. I actually like this. That way, if I if I mess something up, I can blame myself, and I don't get mad at other people. Sometimes when I let somebody else do something, I'm like, oh man, why did I let somebody else do that when really I couldn't have done it any better? That's just the way I am. But if I do it all myself, I can only get mad at me. Okay, so uh, this is number. three. That's number three. Okay. So it's important that you tilt back and aim for, I try to get close to the base, but again, not on the waterline, because if you get on the waterline, it will fall off faster. So it took me some practice to understand that. If you do get it on the waterline, it's not the end of the world. It might feel a little uncomfortable, though. The first time I did that, I was like, these things just poke me in the eye all day. But then, when it popped off really quick, I was like, oh, it's probably not supposed to be there anyway. Um, so that was my bad. So, again, on this last little section, I'm not going... First of all, you two quit it. Um, I'm not going to go all the way to the edge, edge of my eye. I'm going to probably end this side with where my very last real eyelash is, because it has to stick to something. So... That's a little tough, but sometimes I get it on there kind of crooked, and that's okay. Oh, please do what you're supposed to do. <sighs> Don't break. Ding, ding, almost. That's okay, because you're going to give yourself so much. There we go. I'm a little shaky, probably from my pre-workout. <laughs> Athlete problems. Okay, okay. I get so excited when I get it right. Oh my god, I am so good at this. Not really. Uh, <laughs> so that was one solid pinch. Those look good. They look good. Okay, now I'm gonna like just follow the curve of my eye. I'm gonna pinch. Uh, this is always weird doing my left eye. I am right-handed. Uh, so I'm gonna pinch this way first, all the way through the tip. Then I'm gonna go this way to get those last little edges just in case just in case now that I'm done with that and I'm so proud that's the glue don't use that <laughs> they need to really make some different colors for these things they're all black 
Uh, seal and finish clear coat. Now that I'm like, oh yeah, I'm definitely going to stick with this. And I do the top and the bottom of the underside. Yep. Um, so that's good. However, I'm going to go ahead and put this glass crystal coat on there too. Because for me, I feel like it's necessary. Maybe I'll just... What if I end up being so happy I cry and my lashes fall off? Or what if I make myself laugh to death and I close my eyes so hard from laughing that my lashes fall off? You know, like, you never know what's going to happen. Well, you might. I don't know. Okay. That's it. That is it. That's all you do. Um, that's the process. Now, for me, this is a good natural look. Just the shorter... Um, I would say 10 to sometimes I'll do some 12s on the outer third. So each of those little sections, you could do a different length and a different style. So I'm probably going to do a completely separate video down the road of like different kinds. But I want you guys to get like real up close look of like, here's where, here's me looking. Here's my eyes closed. Here's my eyes open. I feel like a movie star. Um, but they're pretty natural, I think, for me, for athletes, for autumn. Okay, we are done. Hell yeah, these look good. These look so good. And they feel, okay, okay, here's what I like the most about these. I cannot tell that they are on. False eyelashes, I always know they're on. They're like the annoying little friend that won't let you live your life. Uh, yeah, I, I just, I can't go back to regular fake eyelashes now. These, I don't feel them at all on my face, as long as I don't get them too close to my waterline. Um, and... Here's what I love about these. It leaves the top part bare. Like, the way that I can do my eyeliner is 2,000 times easier to deal with at the end of the day because not only does this, um, like I used to do my eyeliner, like a winged liner with like a gel or a, a, what's that called? Like a pen, felt tip thing. And then I would put my lashes on, but then if I messed up my lashes with the glue, it would mess up my eyeliner, or my eyes would water, and then it would ruin the eyeliner. So, not only does it avoid that issue completely, I, I don't even, uh, I don't even mess with the waterline pencil liner anymore because the glue, the darker glue, like the black, actually outlines it to make it look like that all the time. So I don't even mess with the underside, the waterline eyeliner, but. Because I can already see my, where my lashes are, like this is the end result, it changes how I can do my makeup, especially for like for stage makeup, because um, now I, I think I use less liner, um, but I can control it better. Like I can go over the top of this and wing it out based on what I'm seeing with the longer lashes up front as opposed to doing the liner and then putting the lashes on and then seeing that I want to do the liner differently, like how thick I want it. So it helps me get my makeup on my eyes better through the process of it. So that's what I like. Um, but yeah, I just, I like the creativity of these. I like the, I will say there's a learning curve. You do have to be patient. Give yourself plenty of time the first couple of times and just know that you're probably going to get frustrated at first, but it, just like anything else, it takes practice. Um, so I would start playing with these like Maybe just like over a weekend or so before you, before you try them for an important event. I tried them for a show first off, and I was like stressing. I had my fake eyelashes as backup, but I never used them. Um, so yeah, they. Uh, I mean, they're they're pretty durable. I like them. Um, so anyway, I'll quit obsessing about my lashes. Uh, I'll do another video with different kinds that I use and uh, stacking. You can layer these suckers, uh, if you do it right, for a more dramatic effect. It's, it's pretty fun. So anyway, I'm going to post jump times to this because I know some people just want to fast forward and see, like, how does it work? So I will post, like, hey, let's cut through autumn talking about the products, which you can probably go find on the website, um, straight to, like, here's how we got this end look here. Um, and then what else? Oh, I'll post the links to this whole thing. I think the the referral link I post, I think, oh, this is cool. They do have like a um, reward system. So 
the more you spend, obviously, you get points, kind of like Sephora. But you can use your points to get more of these uh, gossamer things. So I'm going to post my referral link if you would like to use it. You do not have to use it. It doesn't hurt my feelings. Um, but then if you end up using this, you should post yours so that it has a ripple effect. But yeah, it's just extra points. So that'd be cool. No big deal. Um, yeah, use the, you, go, I'll go watch some more videos of this stuff because there's probably people out there that explain it better than me. This is just what I've learned works for me. Um, but I'll post the links to the pro, the Lashify stuff, the box, my little eyelash curler, who I love so much. Um, yeah, and keep a lookout for another video for, like, more use, better use. And I hope that this solves all of your life problems, because it helped me with a lot of mine. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. Uh, make sure that you hit subscribe to my channel. Make sure that you like this video if that's true and you liked it. And then leave any comments or questions or other topics that you'd like to hear me talk about below.